here we are. We're super pumped. The brand new Bowtech line just dropped today. So head down to the bow and arrow shop, check them out. And we're going to get into this very first bow, the Bowtech Eva Shockey Gen 3. I wish Brianna was here to test this, but uh, she's busy doing other things. So let's head inside, shoot this Eva, see what it has to offer. And right out the gate, I already love the color. It's kind of like a sea foam green type thing. Super slick looking and just a nice feeling bow, long riser, real parallel limbs. I'm already excited and this is the first bow, so let's get, dive into it. Eva Shockey Gen 3, a lot of the ladies are gonna be super stoked on this one. I can tell they've made some changes, but uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Bruce is gonna know a lot more than me, so tell us what's new on this bad boy. Bad first girl. thing too, that I noticed was the color, right? So it's like a sea foam slash teal, kind of a funky color, but I, I kind of dig it, it's not blue everything. But spec wise, six and eighth inch brace height, 28 inch axle to axle. Cool thing on this is it goes out to 29 inch draw length. So for you ladies that are short but have long arms, this will accommodate you. A little bit more efficient with the shave down cam, still keeping the center pivot, pivot technology in there, flex guard. But I also like that they've gusseted it up and made their limb pockets just a little bit wider, acceptance here and wider platform. So smoking a little bowl that'll hold a lot of efficiencies. I want to say off the top of my head, this is a 325. IBO bow. Impressive little bow for a, a lady that wants to shoot with a little bit more forgiveness in her shot because of the brace height, but also have some speed and some efficiencies. One thing I noticed right out the gate just looking at it too is Bruce all the time talks about the SS34 from last year and how it has a really long riser and super parallel limbs. This bow kind of looks like almost like a condensed version of that super long riser and the uh, parallel limbs, which I believe is pretty efficient, so it should be pretty smooth and, and pretty That's quick. actually a great point, James, because what I'm happy they did is they went to that system. And a lot of bows that just have all riser, when they go to draw, their limbs are dipping down really, really, really hard, which is a lot of efficiency loss. Everybody thinks a limb just comes straight up, straight down. It's not. If you look at it slow motion, it's sloppy. So Botech came out with a limb lock technology up to their center pivot, but their limbs are only dipping down an inch and a half, if that. So your efficiency in shot is, is beautiful. So pin hold because of the riser and efficiency on shot because of that. So. Oh, cool. It looks like we got 50 pound peak on this bow. It looks pretty buried, so I'm gonna assume we're about 50 51. pounds, 28 inch draw. Uh -huh. So 51 pounds, 28 inch draw. See how she feels. Very light. How's that back wall? Hard. I like that a lot. Nice valley. Whew. Certainly some dwell. This ain't a target bow, I'll tell you that. There's, uh, you, could, you could sit in a tree stand with a deer needing to move behind a bush for quite some time and not get too fatigued with this bad boy. Good feeling bow. Uh, obviously it's set up super light, so a little bit of jump out the hand just because there's nothing on it, but you put a quiver and some weight and this thing would be super dead quiet. Draw is really, really nice. And one thing that I actually want to point out that I think Bruce kind of skimmed over a bit is this new grip lock, which last year when we did the uh, reckoning target bows, I really thought that was a cool feature because I'm a big fan of having grip, a quality grip setup. And the fact that you can actually move this grip in and out with just this set screw is super nice because everyone has kind of a little bit of a different feel on what they want in a grip and you can do that right on the bow. What's cool is they carry that into every bow that they've made this year. They're gonna have that adjustable grip. Me, before, like on my 34, you have to buy the grip. So for me, it was a three degree. As usual too, you know, with the bow, yeah, it's crazy smooth. I like this a lot. I typically do not like shorter bows, but because this longer riser, I actually feel like this bow points and feels like a longer bow. It definitely has a tighter string angle, but it feels really solid. And I'm super, we're gonna shoot it through the chronograph now. We are on comfort. Another cool part about Bowtech, you have the option to go comfort or performance to pick up some more speed, uh, which Brianna has actually used a lot on her Eva Shockey Gen 1 to kind of work her poundage up, work her speed up, which she kind of has used that flip disc a lot. So a lot of cool features. So we're going to chrono this right now. 51 pounds, 28 inch draw, 430 grain arrow on comfort. Let's see what we get. Go left. Second. 236 out of that bad boy. Ooh. Well, 430 is a I wouldn't have figured that with that heavy of an arrow for 50 yeah. pounds. Left. Set it. 
235. Another really cool thing, uh, if you're not familiar with Bowtech Bruce, grab the bow, he's running back there. He's gonna flip a little disc. It's gonna take him two minutes. He'll come back and we'll get about 10 more feet a second out of this bow. So pretty cool to have both options in one. The draw cycle will probably be a little harsher, but we'll see. But it's cool to be able to pick up that speed if you need it. So we're in uh, performance now. Yeah. We're gonna see uh, how the draw feels and also how much speed we gain. Okay, so it packs certainly a little heavier, steeper at the end. Good. 243. So you're gaining 10. What was that, 235? So what was it, two, 8 feet? 8 feet a second. Nice. The draw to me, I generally always shoot comfort and I prefer comfort, but I will say this was not as bad as I thought it would be. The draw actually feels almost the exact same until about the last three inches. Then it just packs pretty hard and uh, dips into that valley. So I'm actually going to see how performance is if I try to let her down. So yeah, definitely a little bit less of a valley, but there's still some there. It's not bad. So it's you just essentially made it a speedboat at that point. Right there, it packs. And 244, so call it nine feet a second we picked up with uh, performance. Overall, I think this is a really awesome bow. And I'm really excited actually to have Brianna shoot this and see what she thinks. I'm sure she'll love it. I feel like this bow is maybe a little bit lighter and it just feels compact and really good build quality. So I'm excited. I think the Eva Gen 3 was a, was out of here. I think it's a good choice. And I think a lot of ladies are going to want to come down to the bow shop and shoot it for sure. Definitely going to be a performance bow for a lady that wants to shoot far and shoot accurate. Yep. So we got a few more bows to do. Let's get into those next. Wow, deputy, deputy.